Welcome on Extra Scale Modeling. This is part 3 of the FX Hawker Satellite GR3 build, scale 1 to 4. Um, just to recap, in part 2, I uh, put in the engine and buttoned up the two fuselage parts together. In this part, I'll be putting on the jet thrusters, um, also the wings and canopy, and making a, a start on the landing gear as well. So there's no time like the present, let's jump into the build. To start with, I'm putting the th thrust vents in Hombro Aluminium number 56. Um, now the um, instructions call for two, two different colours for each um, vent uh, for the front and, and the rear. But um, I, I decided to paint them all in one colour. And I'm taking the opportunity while the paint's drying is to put the tail fin together. So the um, the rudder or, or flap is going in first. This section doesn't get glued, and then it's uh, a case of just putting the two halves together. Careful that the rudder doesn't slip out of place, though. And then once it's in position, uh, just got the clamps just to keep it there. And once it was all in position, I'm just putting in one of the little aerial things that go in. And this is the um, nose um, tail cone. Uh, I'm putting together. So I'm, I'm putting the two air, air bed thrusters together with the um, the, the, the central uh, vent and planes inside. Just be careful when you're doing this, it can be a little bit tricky. In fact I managed to lose one so I had to scratch build one with uh, using a simple piece of plastic card. But as I say these are tricky. I did put them in then close one up as you can see there. But um, the second one I couldn't uh, get them to marry up properly. So in the end I took the vents back out, the, the little blade things, and then closed them up, closed up the two halves, then pushed in the two uh, blades to go back in. It's not really how you're meant to do it, but um, it seemed to work better than trying to assemble them all and then squeezing the two halves together. So as you can see, there's the event just going in now. I want to uh, better, as I said. You now, you may have to trim it slightly for that to work like this. I didn't, but it, it depends on how good the bond is between them, really. Next up is painting the tips of the, uh, the tail and also the nose cone. So I'm painting these in Humbro number 93, and that's a desert yellow. Now I'm only roughly painting these and the reason for that is just so that um, it shows me what's to be painted and um, what will start painting the model. Uh, I know you use the instructions for that but it just gives you a little guide to remind you that these little points have got to be painted because sometimes I often forget to do it. On to the um, canopy now and masking. Now before I um, explain about the masking, th this canopy is a really thin uh, piece of acrylic plastic just be careful, you can easily put your knife through it when you're taking off any excess and so forth. It's very squidgy. Now, um, in, in order to mask this, what I've done was I uh, put on some uh, masking tape. Th this is Tamiya 10mm masking tape. So I put it on, then I just um, run around with a cocktail stick to secure it in the edges, then take uh, my hobby knife and cut around. Now you only do this with a new blade. Don't do it with an old blade, or with a sharp new blade. And just run your knife down the seam and the tape will come away clean and sharp. Next is the nose cone. Now because I'm you, uh, going to be doing it in the Falkland Theatre version of the GR3, uh, it's a different nose cone. So I um, just married up the two halves like that and uh, to bond it together. And this is uh, the next part really scared me. Where I put my finger here is I've got to take that off which um, was a bit scary to tell you the truth. So I took my uh, blade and then sawed the tip off. Never had to do that on a, a model before um, to this extent. Just be careful if, if you're doing it this way uh, to make sure you get your line uh, done properly. And it helps if you have a thin blade to, to saw it down. Um, as you can see, it, it went okay. You know, I just sawn it, keep it nice and steady, 
and um, just pull it down. Don't worry about the old uh, cloth there, that's alright. So off it pops and there it is. And I was so worried about it. So once that's off you, you want to check to make sure the new part fits and um, there it goes. Now there was a tiny little gap, uh, nothing major. <coughs> excuse me nothing major so um all, all it needed was a tiny bit of filler so the cone was glued on in a position and now i'm using Villagelo plastic putty just to put a bit of uh, putty around it patting it down with, with uh, the well, this is my paint stir but i'm just patting it down to make sure that it goes in it, all the cracks and so forth and doing this right around the nose cone. Somewhat didn't need filling but it was uh, better just to put it all the way around <coughs> and um, once I did that I just wiped off all the excess and you're, you're just left with a, a little bit of putty inside. If you do get any on the model just wipe it off it, it's no drama. So next is sanding so I'm starting off with a coarse sand then I'll be going down to a medium then a fine sand and paper just to take away the um, the, the seams on, on the top. While I was sanding I noticed I had a little bit of gap on the um, tail cone like I did on the nose cone. So I iron sim again with the nose cone. I put a little bit of large old plastic putty on and spread it around then t took off the excess of the cloth. Next to go on is the thrust of vents and the, the slot into the little um, disc that were glued onto the engine uh, earlier on. Now depending on um, well, how you're displaying this model, I, I'm putting mine in the wheels down display so my thrusters are pointing downwards. If you have them on flight display you, you want them facing towards the rear of the aircraft depending on how, how you want it to, doing. If it's coming in for landing um, it would be slightly off skew, you know, but the beauty about it is you, you can have them in any configuration that you want. And now the tail's uh, dry, it's time to put that on, so just a little bit of cement and, um, and, and it pops. No modification needed on this part, it was a uh, simple straight fit. And next is the covering for the cockpit. Um, I think it's the heat shield or something, but this gets painted in Revel 08 Black Mark and once it's dry it's time to fit it. Now I suggest that you dry fit this first because the position can be a little bit tricky. Um, the lip um, goes underneath the fuselage at the front but ever so slightly to it marrying up on the sides. Next is all the little sensor um, parts you have to put on. Now I'm only putting on the ones that are contoured to the plane. I'm not putting on the ones that stick up for obvious reasons. Because you're handling um, the model, they've got a tendency to snap off if you're not careful. So it's better to put them on at the end. Onto the wing landing gear now. Um, the tires actually uh, comes in a rubber tire, so that's good. The inner you have to paint 127 US Ghost Grey on Humbro and um, they will be the same colour uh, as well for the actual struts and uh, on the struts for the um, hyd hydraulic uh, shaft that is getting painted in Humbrose 191 Chrome Silver uh, there's a couple of little brackets that I also painted in that colour for the house and it goes uh, around the um, landing gear I'm painting that in Humbrose 164 dark sea grey and once it was dry it was just a simple case of putting it together and um, if you want the, the wheels moving don't put any glue inside the um, the little pins are enough to keep the wheel in, in. be careful when you are touching the parts uh, to the wheel uh, there's only a couple of location points there's points where you don't want to be putting any glue in but once you've done that just put in the uh, covers the covers will come in two halves and you just wrap it up the stem of the landing gear. Onto the wings and first of all I'm making uh, up the flaps so just two of them to make up 
before I make up the wings I'm just painting the inside um, where the landing gear is going so that's getting painted in Humbro 196 light grey two brackets go on the front of the wing here they go on the recess at the top not in the inside and they, they act as the bridge between the top and bottom part of the wing now the paint is dry, time to put the landing gear in and they rest in two little brackets inside and you don't glue them, they're free moving time to put the wing on, now the um, flap doesn't need glue and I just, it just fell off there so um, make sure you have it in the correct position before um, attaching the wing so I've just pressed it in enough so it won't fall out and then lined up the wing and put it on and once it was on just um, a few clamps uh, to hold it in place making up the wing tips now um, again just two parts um, easy enough to assemble here just marrying them up together and like the tail nose I'm just painting in the, the marks for the wings and um, this is getting painted in Humbrol 03 Burnwick Green and the opposite side is a uh, 19 bright red by Humbrol for the top centre part of the way, wing I'm, I'm just um, having to cut out a, a little slot here for the version I'm doing there's different options again uh, for whatever version you've decided to do for now I'm just placing this um, top cover on um, uh, it, it's not fixed in position, I'm just going to hold it with some clamps just so that I get a, a good idea how it's all going to fit together and now it's time to put on the, the wing tips the two little brackets I had to slightly file one down for it to fit now to place on the main wing and um, it's a really tight fit um, just be careful when you're putting it on because you do have to uh, line it up uh, really well so, with me I had to lift up a little bit of plastic for it to go in on the edges and that, that's why it's slightly off camera there but it was a little bit tricky to get in but I did get it in eventually and now for the top cover uh, again I had to modify it very slightly just a, a little file to take about a millimetre off for it to fit in you may have to also squeeze it to fit in between the two um, wings which I think it was designed to do that but it goes in and it's quite a tight fit this is the covering for the engine and um, I did glue it all in one go but I discovered it was better to just um, glue in one half then wait, wait for that to semi dry and then press down on the other half uh, well glue then press down on the other half to get it to fit ideally you would like to use a clamp but because it's such a, an awkward shape, just pressing it down with your hand was good enough. Before I put the canopy on, I'm just painting around the edges in the um, main colour. So that's Humbro 164 Dancy Grey. And um, it just makes it easier before I put the canopy on. Now I ran into a bit of problem here. Um, I had to dry fit the canopy and the canopy didn't fit. So I had to chop off the bottom of the uh, pilot. Um, luckily I was able to get the pilot out, I thought it was glued and solid but it wasn't. So I just took my saw and took off about five millimeters before I, I got it to fit. Um, as, as you can see, uh, a little bit tricky getting it back in. I did take off one of the pilot legs by mistake but it goes underneath the instrument panel so it doesn't matter. So there it is in and um, it's at the proper level now. And so it was time to put on the canopy and there's a couple of little plastic brackets uh, to go on the underside before putting it on. Also you want to be um, careful when you put the canopy on because as I said before it is thin plastic and you can't squeeze it and there's a, a problem where it may snap so just be very careful. So uh, just glue it to position. Um, do, just do one bit, let it dry and then do the other part make sure, as I said, you get into position well, I'm going to bring this uh, build to a close now while I'm putting on this canopy why don't you check out my other videos um, particularly the, the ones for the uh, this build I have got many different uh, videos on the channel now uh, 
uh, different types of aircraft, kits, and so forth. So, if you got time, check them out. If you want me to build something, um, feel free to leave a comment. I'll, I'll see if I can get it done. And um, we'll, we'll go from there. So, look out for next part, part four. That'll be up in the next couple of days. But for now, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And I'll talk to you on your next update. Bye bye.